Yes, catch them unaware. Of course, I'll set the trap. I'll draw them in. You take their flank. Right, hit them from two sides. It's us or them. Cut them down. Hey guys, welcome to a new guy video. Today I'll show you guys how to play Aurelia. For the ability sequence, you want to prioritize maxing out the Q first because it's your damage, mobility and sustain. Max out the E second for the CC and then W last for the damage reduction. Aurelia's ultimate is the best engage ability so always put points into this whenever possible. Okay guys, so Aurelia's passive will give her stacks whenever she damages an enemy unit. And this passive can stack up to 5 times. Each stack will give you bonus attack speed and then once you have maximum stacks, then your basic attacks will also deal bonus magic damage. So this passive is super important when you play Aurelia. Basically, you whenever you look for fights, you always want to make sure that this passive is fully stacked. You of course start with the Q. Deal one on Aurelia, so it is a mobility spell that will also reset when we execute something with it, for example the minions. And then it also works as a sustain. So in order to stack this passive up really fast, what you want to do is that you put the minions to low HP, then you kill them with a Q, and every single time you do that, you get a stack of your passive. Right now we have fully stacked passive, so Fiora is going to back off because most people know that once Aurelia has a stacked passive, then they have to back off because there are only a few champions who can actually win against this. Right, that is pretty hard to hit, especially on something like a Fiora because she has a Q, which is a mobility spell, and then she also has a W that can block out all the CC. And just place a ward here. So your E is very hard to hit uh, on mobile champions, we hit it right here. Oh, that W right there. So even though she doesn't get the uh, Uh, stun on us, then if she hit us with that W guys, it's going to slow our attack speed by a lot. And if you get hit by that, then it's pretty much GG's because you're not going to win a single trade. Because Aurelia is all about auto attacks, and if she can't get to auto attack, then her damage is pretty much gone. I'm gonna reset here, get the executioner's calling. We're getting this against laners who relies a lot on healing. So Aatrox is a good example, Fiora is as well. Because they rely on that healing to get uh, through the laning phase. It's also good to buy against Aurelia, because she also has a lot of healing on the Q. So that W right there guys, it's going to, whenever you channel it, then it's going to give you damage reduction against physical abilities. You can also use it to stack up your passive or to put the backline minions at low HP level so you can finish them off fast with your Q. And that way get your passive stacked up really fast. I had to back off here because I cross around. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and then I can walk down and ward because I think he will be camping here so... Wait a little bit before he move to ward. Go. No teleport on Aurelia. Looks like she's also building towards that executioner. So whenever we fight here, we want to stack up that passive. Now I can't really use my E freely like I would be able to in other matchups because the key in this lane here is to watch out for her W. Because if she hits that W, then it's GG's. Then she's going to win. Yora also outscales this matchup really hard. It is a skill matchup in the start, but it becomes difficult as the game progresses, so... We have to be really careful even though we have a lead right here. We don't want to throw it away because she's going to scale really well. Easy way to farm, guys. Use your Q to last hit minions with, but be careful of not spamming it too much because you will go out of mana really fast. We can go ahead and reset here. It's 
The Q doesn't really deal enough damage to one shot the minions, so usually you want to combine it with other attacks. And before you start a fight, then you want to prepare the minions, so you put them at low HP levels, so once the fight actually starts, that's when you can Q spam to all the minions, that way you will get your passive up, and then you can win the trades. Just went for boots here, because we can get back to lane fast, it also helps a lot with the kiting and escaping gangs, because it looks like we are going to get camped this game. They are probably pre made so we have to respect that and not give away anything. I think Fiora will come back with Executioner, she should have enough gold for it. But we're just gonna stay here, this way will not freeze, because the enemy minions, uh, we don't have enough of those, so going to end up pushing. I'm not using Q right here guys because there's no reason to, I don't need to stack that passive up right now. The only thing this would do is uh, consume my mana bar and then I won't have enough for the fights. And we have a level 6 up, to, that is our ultimate engage ability so there are two ways you can reset your Q guys, either you can last hit with it. Or you can use the mark that you get from your E and your ultimate. When there is a mark on an enemy unit, that means that your Q will reset, even if you don't get the execution. That's what you use your ultimate for. It also slows the opponent, so it really makes Aurelia insane in those uh, one, one versus one or one versus two fights because she becomes really mobile if you can hit that ultimate. I'm just gonna walk down here. Um, oh, rip! That is so unlucky. Okay, yeah, they're gonna win this. So I can just back off here. Hill has no flash because she used it to save Echo with. So if you push out a wave and you don't really have anything to do, what you can is you walk out of vision and then you can look for that uh, plant. Get the fruits and heal back up or you can use that time to get some vision down. There we go, so... We dodge the W. As I said early on guys, in this matchup, if you can dodge that W then you can go for fights, but if she hits it then you're going to die. We want to play around Fiora's W. If she misses it, then you can look for a fight. Fight. If she doesn't, then you can't really do much. You just have to try to bait it out or wait until she uh, uses it. You set W to put the backline minus low HP. That way we can push that way out really fast. There we go. We also got a tower plate, so we have a really good base right here. We can get a Wham Scepter towards our first core item and then we can also get the uh, armor boots. Those helps a lot against Fiora, also against Kill and Jen. so these are by far the best boots we can go for this game. But if you're playing against a lot of CC and AP champs then you can also go for the Mercs. Most games though you will be playing against Bruce's top lane so these steel caps are the best. As it is going to reduce the damage you receive from auto attacks and you also get some armor, so... Alright, get a control ward down here, so now this wave is in a really good spot for us. I don't really see if you're on the map though. Can't really roam right now, cause uh, Victor is recalling. Oh, she's not recalling, okay. 
There might actually be roaming topside because we don't see Kale. We also don't see Echo. And Kane is bottom side. Uh, Nautilus is in the jungle bottom side, so he can only be topside right now. Get this out. Okay, we are definitely getting ganged. Okay, I should be fine here. Wait, oh, he was doing the Herald. Okay, I did not want to waste my flash right here. I should be fine. Okay, that's great. So Echo was probably doing the Herald, so we cancelled that out. Also got the teleport out, so this is super worth it. And if they still stay topside, then I can just recall and teleport back. I'm going to check if he's still doing it right now. Okay, we see him mid, so I can take out the control board. Just have to play it super safe, guys, because if you get behind in this matchup, then it is doomed. He is going to outskill you really, really hard. Just winning this lane, even when you have a lead, is already hard enough. And if you're going to play this while Fiora is ahead, then it's almost impossible. At least if it's a good Fiora. Okay, are they coming? Okay, they are. The three man top. I had to recall here. Because otherwise I will get though. I do have a teleport up, guys. So just take the safe way out. Don't stay here. Just recall. Don't risk anything because they will three man dive you. Oops, I did not want to buy that one. I need the control ward. It didn't go through. Let's look for a kill here. Kill should be dead. Nice. I tried to hit Fiora with the E, but she dodged it. It's fine though. And so, hitting that E can be pretty hard. Usually you want to use the first part of your E in front of the opponent and then the second one behind them. And also use it behind them you have to be good at predicting how they are going to dodge but a easy way to hit your e is by hitting them with the ultimate first because then they will be slowed then use a q to consume the stack you get from your ultimate and then place e on them that way you can get three q's off makes you really mobile how to shut down in the mid now i had to play safe earlier because we did not see them on the map there we go. If we get hit by that W, then she can just all in and kill us pretty much, so... I have to respect that. One. I have to help him out. Okay, block out Fiora here. Try to flash she. Let's see if it works. Okay, she flashed as well. If she didn't have flash, then she would have died right here. But that is something you can do. Sometimes people will not be able to react to it in time. Kill did react here, so that's uh, that sucks a bit, but it should be harder for Kill to farm up in the mid lane without a flash up, so that's actually pretty decent for us to trade flashes. Can you set W on the minion wave, guys? There we go, stack that passive up really fast. There we go, so we can just auto attack her to death right here, so she tried to fight us because we didn't have a stack passive. But with that W we can put the minions low HP and then we can just Q spam to all the minions and that way we can stack that passive up really fast and then we win that fight easily. So that is something you have to be really good at, you don't want to use that W for damage reduction all the time. A lot of the time you just want to use it to put the minions to low HP. That way you can engage a fight without problems, use that W right there so that now is the point where we can actually fight her. If she has it up then we have to be careful. Also I have to respect her ultimate. When she ults guys then you can hug a wall because then she will not be able to proc the last uh, vital. Also if a passive vital is in the bad spot guys you can just walk out of vision. If you do that, then it's going to reset, so if it's in a really shitty spot, then just do that. But the Fiora player can do the same, so you can just keep resetting it. Got the Herald, paying for the objectives here. Just 
does have a Q and a W so you can use to dodge it, so. Really want to be careful that I don't use that E randomly because she can use that to CC me with. She can use that QW combo. Oh, what? Okay. I might actually be dead here. Try to buy myself some time. I'm not sure. Yeah, I am dead. Represent. Okay, rip. My team is doing something bottom side though, Victor is going bot, so if they can get kill spot lane and get the rake then this is super worth it. Even though I gave away a shot down, that's my bad, but... Nice, it's okay. Oh wow, they're really going all in for that kill, okay this is really worth it. And they're going to get the drake as well, so this is actually really good for us. And the tower as well maybe. That hero should be able to take care of it. Isra is doing the tower while they're taking the drake, so this is super worth it actually, because they are camping topside, they got the kill, that's fine, but my teammates made it super worth it. This is basically how you punish these um, camps topside. If your jungler is good, then if he sees the enemy jungler topside, then he should force something on the other side of the map, that is usually the dragon, or the kills as well, depends on how the state of the lane is going. But this is really huge for us right here, so I don't mind dying at all. We can get the objectives and the kills as well, that's huge for us. Don't see Echo on the map, he might be, okay, he's bottom side, we see him in the jungle right now. He's not going to fight us. We have Blade of the Ruin King, guys. That is a huge power spike on Aurelia. You want to get this because it works great with a kit. So your Q procs on hit, right? And she's auto attack based, so your Q is going to proc that passive. We can win this easily. She's not going to win this. Unfortunately, I don't have my E up, otherwise, I could have gotten a kill right here. But you basically buy Blade of the Druin King on attack speed reliant champions like Aurelia and Jax because they give you such a good laning phase. It is one of the best um, first item power spikes in the game. You get a lot of damage, a lot of sustain and you also get a lot of attack speed so... It really makes a huge difference in the laning phase and when you buy this item, you buy it only for the laning phase. Well, since it deals damage based on maximum health, then it's also very good against tanks. It is basically a tank destroying item. Okay, it goes top here, so I can't really force. Okay, let's see here. Go for the kill at least. Oh, that's unfortunate. If I got my last Q off right there, then I would have died as well before he got to use his ultimate. That could have been a free double kill. I think it one killed us, so it's not too bad. I also have teleport up, and Victor is pushing bottom side. They got the middle tower, so team is doing re really well. We want the blade of the Rune King first, and now you go for the Trinity Force. Usually, you want the Sheen Adam first, guys, and that is because it also works for your Q, so it makes it easier for you to kill the minions because now it's going to deal even more damage. There we go, push is really fast for that Q, now we can go for that tower right here, hopefully get that as well, then we have all the outer towers. They are fighting bottom side, so I'm just gonna push top. Alright, now we got all the towers on the outer sides. W, the minion way right there, really easy to stack that passive up really fast, and now if somebody comes to fight, we can just all in them. We are going to win this 100%, so... Aurelia is really scary when she has that passive fully stacked, but if she doesn't, then you have to be really careful because then she doesn't have most of her damage. That's pretty much all of her damage is in that passive, so when you don't have that passive stack, then that's where the opponent is looking to fight you, and when you do have that passive stack, then they're just gonna back off and wait until it expires, so you have to be really good at abusing that. Oh, we can look for the kill right here. He has that item that gives him the dash. They buffed that item. Uh, 
in the patch so I'm seeing a lot of ADCs building it right now. It is pretty annoying to play against because they have a lot of mobility suddenly so kill shot reliant champions are going to struggle a lot right now. We can look for a kill top side. I'm gonna flank here. Kane is also coming in and it is Assassin Kane so he's really fast. Super mobile so let's go. Yes, a lot of burst. Actually, Fiora could have won that fight, actually. The dragon is up as well. I'm just gonna give Victor this wave. I'm gonna buy my components. Can sell that uh, Doran Sword as well. Get the last component, the Kindle Gem. I'm gonna walk towards the bottom side right here because I don't have teleport so I can't really be speed pushing when the objective is coming up so if I go bot right now then we can secure the next dragon. Oh very close okay. But that at least means that since that's upside then we're going to get this drake. Objectives are super important. Um, it's gonna help you close out the games and really allow you to scale as well. Aria is really good in the old mid game, but she falls off. The dragons help a lot though, because the team who has uh, the soul are usually the team who's going to win. Nice. Okay, Fiora got the shutdown, doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna push out this wave in the bottom lane here. Another wave is coming in. Need to make sure this entire wave crashes, so if there's no one to pick up this wave, then they're going to lose everything. So we can go ahead and back off now. I can't really keep pushing here because multiple players from the enemy team will come and we are inside their base so they can try to flank us with teleport so not really worth it to risk that. We can fight here but we don't see the other players. Have to be a bit, bit careful though. I can just deny him the jungle camp here and nice. okay. Down again, I do see here. I can kill him if he's alone. He ulted it away. That's actually worth it for us because he really needs that ultimate. If he doesn't have it up, then he's going to die if he ever engages right. So I'm glad to take that trade. Like we're not backing off. I really want to base up because now we have the first mythic item. Do Trinity Force and you want that because it gives you a lot of attack speed. You get that Sheen as well. And Aurelia is all about that, that attack speed because she's a basic attack um, Reliant Champion. I can try to push bottom side here. Okay, they're coming in so I have to back off. I really want to base right now, I also don't have mana so... Get out of here, the Baron is up as well, we can try to make a play topside. Alright, let's get a control ward here, so now we have the Triforce guy, so that is the main core item. So if you're going for the Blade of the Druin King, you always want that first because it gives you such a massive power spike in the landing phase. It allows you to take really bad trades and then you can heal back up with the uh, sustain from your Q and that item as well. And if you also have Ravnus Hunter, then you have even better sustain. You can look for Kale here, she's gonna recall right there. See if I can hit it with E before she recalls. Oh wow, that was so close. That's so unlucky. Echo is dead though, so we should be able to do Baron. We also see Fiora on the bottom side, so that should be free. My teammate are moving towards it, that's good. So we can just push this out and then we can go for the Baron.
When you play the mid game though as Aurelia, um, she's really good in the side lane. But she can also do pretty well in the team fights with the ultimate. So if you're in the team fights, then you want to try to hit the backline uh, backline champions with the ultimate. If you hit them with the ultimate, then they're going to be super slowed. And if they don't have flash, then there's no way for them to escape. If you can hit the backline champions with the ultimate and then follow up with the E afterwards, then it's going to be pretty much a guaranteed win. So you want to be flanking when you play Aurelia in the team fights, but otherwise you want to look to be speed pushing most of the time as Aurelia when you have your tilt board up because she's really good in more versus ones. We can flash here. Nice. That's the flash ultimate I showed you guys in the combo stride earlier. This is a lot better than flashing and then using your ultimate because if you use ultimate first and flash then you can catch the opponents by surprise. It gives them a lot less time to react pretty much. This here we can go for the inhibitor as well. We open the bottom side, they're gonna open the mid side. We almost lose 16 as well, so we can put another point into ultimate here. I need to buff off this way here, let's buff it. Oh, Victor is a bit... Oh, he almost died right there actually. Needs to watch out. Need to block it. This is not good. Yeah, I think uh, we should just have backed off right here. That was also my mistake trying to tank that for so long, but... Uh, yeah, that sucks a bit. We got the Drake though, so now we have the uh, Dragon Soul. So now we have a lot more bonus damage. I did give away another shutdown, so that's... Uh, not the best, but this game is pretty much over. There's no way for them to come back. If we play probably though, they still have kill. If she hits level 16, then there's always a chance of them making a comeback. Oh wow, he just had enough mana for that uh, Q right there. So right now, because we took down two inhibitors in the middle and bottom lane, it means that they will be getting free farm right now because our waves will always be pushing towards their base. But we want to use that time to push uh, topside right now. Because if we don't take any more objectives then this is going to be a win for them. Because they will be getting a lot of XP and gold while we are not getting anything. Oh it's a bit too greedy. Yeah he's also dead. Rip. They're pushing top side, that's great. And jump all the blast guns here. Has a stack, to see here. Okay, that's no one. Got to focus the tower first. Nice, okay, Echoes W is down as well, I need to heal up from the minions. I have a lot of sustain because of around the center, I will Q. And play the Rune King. Yeah, for kills ultimate. Yeah, it is okay, so now we can engage because they don't have anything up. Take Victor again, he almost got caught again. Nice, okay, so now we should be able to end. Their engage is gone. The only engage they have is uh, Echo. You need to take out Kale as well because you have some uh, wave clear with the uh, button form. Nice, okay, good, great. Great. There you go. You want to try to hit people with that E in team fights. But that was the already guys, of course, I hope this was helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next one.